Hi everybody. Um, today we're going to make some clothespin clips, which you can use either as refrigerator magnets or chip clips, something like that. But what we've got are two napkins and we've got some of these wide clips. You've got a little piece of sandpaper. This one's been used, but yours won't have been. And you'll have some of these pieces of magnetic tape. So one side is sticky, the other side is magnetic. Um, and you'll also have a small container of Mod Podge. I've got a, my big container here, but you'll have a little container of Mod Podge. So what you need to do first is take the backing off of the napkins. Um, this one with the leaves on it is two ply and it's a little bit challenging to split the split them so i found that the best way to do that is to or to separate the pieces is to rip off a small corner and then you can pick apart the front from the back now on this particular napkin again from experience it's very thin the um, part with the um pattern on it is very thin so you have to be very careful when you when you split it. Don't just pull it apart because the pattern side will tear. Um, it may tear a little bit anyway, so just keep um, you know keep track of where it has so you don't use that part for um, your clip because obviously you want it to be uh, fully intact. So. This is this one. So what I found was a good trick for um, helping pull it off is to hold down the side that you're keeping and then just pull the backing that way. See? And that'll, that tends to work pretty well. You'll see some of the backing stays on. Just you want to try to get that off. Um, there we go. But you see there's a little teeny hole right there. Um, so just be careful. Actually, this is working a lot better than the one that I did when I made the sample. So that's maybe because I figured out the best way to do this. So anyway, so now we've got our one ply. You don't need this piece, so you can chuck that. Now for this napkin, I found out that this is sort of two ply. It's got, this is coming off already, but this is, I wanna to try to separate this out. I didn't um, when I used it as a, uh, on, on my clip, and it just made it a little bit more difficult to, um, to clean up the edges with the sandpaper. So, so now I've got my very thin pieces of napkin. Now, what you want to do is get an idea of kind of where you want, um, if you want it all to be all the leaves, which is what I did here. See, I wanted to have some of the um, the acorns in there and a lot of the different color, which is kind of right about here. So what I found is it's a lot easier, again, to sort of cut out the general shape of your uh, or cut out a smaller piece in the general shape of your um, clothespin, or clothespin, yeah, clothespin. Um, you don't have to be too specific with it, but just make it a little bit smaller than the, the whole um, napkin, because that helps you center it and place it exactly where you want it to go. Um, that would be particularly true for this checkerboard pattern, because you can see, um, I've got a sample here, but see, I, I didn't, I wasn't all that careful, so it's kind of cockeyed, it's kind of on an angle, whereas this one, I cut it out, and it's, it's at least, it's straight. It's not centered where I want it to be, but it's straight. So here, so now we have our piece of napkin, and what you want to take is your Mod Podge, and just put a decent amount of it on, not you don't want to really slather it. You want it to be an even coat. And then you kind of place your, see I want, what do I want? I could put it right over that part. It's not gonna fit the whole thing, but there you go. And you want to push it, press it down so that you make sure that it's adhered to the, all the corners, okay? And you can sort of see the outlines of where it is. now. 
You want to let this dry before you use your sandpaper to, to cut off the edges. Um, you can try it when it's wet, but trust me, that'll get kind of sloppy and you might take off some of the pattern that's on the top that you want to see. So here is the one that I did before that um, is mostly dry. You can feel if it's dry. And here's a trick. You want to take your sandpaper. It's easy. I folded it up so that I could get around. You see these parts where there's the metal and that, that helps that. But you can take the flat part of your sandpaper and just run it along the edges of your clothespin. And you don't want to do too hard because what will happen is you'll wear off the part of the paper that is on top. Um, I can show you an example of where I sort of did that. Um, and you just run it around. And you can see I've got a double layer of this. See how it's starting to break off there? You can see how much pressure you need, but keep it on the side. The pressure is on the side, not the top of the clothespin, okay? And you work on that, and you see how it's pulling aside, and it's making a nice, clean edge. Now, granted, I'm getting some of this extra here, but see, you wanna get the edge right off. And you can see the backing is there, so I'm just gonna work on the backing a little bit. And as I said, remember, if you get it, fold it, you can get into these corners a little bit better. So be patient with this, it will come off. It will make a mess, but it will come off. Okay. And you wanna to try to get all these edges clear. If you're a little bit of a perfectionist like I am. See, and now I can get this in here. See how that looks right there? You're gonna leave it to go across the top there. I'm gonna to try to get the rest of this. Okay. Not wanting to cooperate very much here. So last little bit is, let me fold this here because I think I ran out of sand on this. I've used this a few too many times. So, whoop, that's coming up on the edge. Don't worry about it if it does that. That just means you didn't put quite enough glue there, but just leave it alone because what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little bit more of the Mod Podge and that will get that right down, okay? So you wanna do at least two more coats of Mod Podge. Make sure that they dry between um, otherwise, you saturate the paper and it'll get very lumpy. Um, I'm going to push that down a little bit. There we go. See? So then I'm going to let that dry. Now, what I did on this one, I could use this as a chip clip because now both sides have a pattern on them. But if you want to use it as a refrigerator magnet, okay, these, these have two coats of Mod Podge on them. You just take your magnet what you want to do is try to straighten it out a little bit flatten it i mean because if it curves it's going to come up on the edges which isn't a big deal you can fix that but let's try to make it not do that too much so just bend it the opposite direction as much as you can okay then take the peel off sticker stuff then you just place it on the back now this one is you want to just sort of hold it down, make sure it goes. If you want to be absolutely sure, then I would. what I would do is take a rubber band and wrap it around really tightly for a little bit. If for some reason the edges curl, just grab some glue, you know, regular glue, 
and um, take a rubber band, wrap it around it and let it dry, you know, overnight, something like that to make sure it's really stuck on properly, all right? Um, but again, you could do both sides and make a little clip or just one side and make a magnet. And you can do whatever you want. This one, I took the checkerboard on one side and the um, print on the other. And you can see the edges. I got a little bit crazy. I don't know if you can see that, but I got a little crazy with sandpaper. So I rubbed off some of the coloring. Um, if that happens, just grab an orange marker and you could just fill that in or just make it look worn all the way around. It's up to you. All right, so enjoy yourselves. We'd love to see some pictures of your creations. And um, I guess that's it. So I will see you guys next time. Bye.